How's everybody doing? Great. So good. All right. Well, my name is Steve Lackey. I'm with Sport Often, also founder of Endurance Magazine. We're out of North Carolina. We've been doing this for about, I guess, almost 12, 13 years now. I actually just came from, I'm on a bit of a work vacation with my family. We do this every summer because it's deathly hot in, in North Carolina this time of year. I just left them yesterday in Grand Teton National Park. This is Glacier National Park. It's unbelievable. You can see to the ground 40 feet deep when you're paddle boarding across, across the water. We've got three kids that just enjoyed it so much. Here's Logan Pass for anybody who's been out to Glacier. It's unbelievable. It's just absolutely breathtaking. And here's my little tribe here. They were pretty happy to be at the top of where they were hiking that day. So it's been really fun traveling with them and they're still out there waiting for me to come back. But it was really important to me to come here today because I love talking about marketing. You know, Bob asked me to come I wanted to make sure that I made time for it. And, and although the initial conversations with my wife weren't fantastic, um, <laughs> it, uh, you know, it, it, it worked out okay. And I did want you to know being here is really important for me. And, and I really appreciate all of you coming here as well. You know, thanks to Run Sign Up for putting on this conference. This is fantastic for us and, and for Run Sign Up to be able to provide this kind of collective group. You know, I hope I can get a chance to speak to several of you because I, I learned so much when I interact with people that are doing the same kinds of things that we're doing. I'm just gonna give you a quick background on who I am. I, out of college, worked for Accenture for a few years in systems implementation and supply chain management. Moved out to California and worked with a smaller company called Cambridge Technology Partners, where we started doing e-business consulting. You know, and then after that, my, my wife and I actually started a small company that helped bring CEO level resources to companies. We had a lot of fun doing that. But I met a friend who suggested I run my first marathon, San Francisco Marathon in 2000. Finished and was thrilled to be finished, really loved it. Up till about mile 26, was never gonna run another one, of course. Then finished it and just loved that feeling. He calls me two weeks later and says, hey, we gotta sign up for Ironman Lake Placid. I'm like, Ironman? I can barely swim. So he's like, you've got 11 months, not a big deal. But if you don't sign up now, it's gonna sell out. So that pressure, that marketing pressure, sincerely compelled me to sign up for something that was well beyond my capacity. But, you know, I got through it and finished before it was um, over, which was nice. And, um, but, but again, you know, what I, what I loved about that was, was I just loved the feeling of not the, you know, the training camaraderie, but the, the experience at the event, the, the amount of positive energy and optimism just blew me away. I knew that I wanted to work in an environment and cultivate community in a, in a place where people were just fundamentally optimistic. And so I had no idea what, what I was going to do. I, I had no experience in, in publishing. I, I certainly didn't have any aspiration to own an event, but I did believe in community, so we threw together a magazine. Competitor group was in existence, but nowhere near our market, and sort of filled this void in North Carolina, and started with, you know, newsprint and, you know, really bare bones, did everything myself, soup to nuts, but now after 13 years, we've grown to one of the largest and most substantial regional audience cultivators in the States. Endurance Magazine publishes 12 times a year. We've got about 40,000 magazines that we print each month. We just expanded into Virginia. Our expansion has been more regional because we came into situations where one of our clients in 2005 had an event. We had sold sponsorships for them. They couldn't produce the event. For some reason, their venue got jacked up or something like that. So we had sponsors that were already paid to be part of this event, so we created an event. And that was our first foray into event production, and we did a pretty good job. And so from there, we've added an event portfolio that now we've fine-tuned into three event properties at the moment, two running events that are both over 6,000 runners a year, and a women's beginner triathlon tour, which has about 4,000 women that participate in that. And the great thing about it is, when we started the magazine, I mean, the magazine is, is free. So all of our revenue came from advertising. And so we had to get really good at marketing for events because events are the primary revenue source. Sure, we have some hospitals and some other larger players, retailers, as I don't know how much, you know, what your print marketing budget is, but very few retailers spend money in print. So we started building partnerships. And it's interesting to me because the way we've built our business is very similar to how Bob describes the evolution of Run Sign Up. And we look for partners, we, we engage with them, we have things in common, and we, we go to work with them in sync, and we both usually grow as a result, which has been great. What that's done for us is we've learned how to lower the prices on our services because we can get smarter at how we provide them and then provide them to partners in, in more packaged ways. So we got into event development and production in 2005, and have been doing that for, I guess it's 10 years now, a little over 10 years. And in sport often, interestingly, 
you know, we acquired a very small online registration company in 2006, maybe seven, and oddly it was called Active Zach. I don't know why they chose that name, but we purchased it because we thought that we could leverage online registration as a great way to engage audience and provide a more full circle experience that complements marketing. So everything that we did was from a marketing perspective. And we grew it. We grew it 100%, 200% a year for about three or four years, but we weren't technologists. So we're doing this based on some part-time development, only building features that we absolutely had to have. You know, I look at the list of run sign up features and, and I'm just so excited because it's like, you know, all these things we always wanted to build is already in there and not only in there but getting improved so we made a decision with sport often's roots primarily being a marketing enabling platform but sort of disguised as an online registration platform i met with our team and said you know we can keep trying to chase feature sets for online registration or we could partner with bob's team to leverage what you've done and then apply all of our marketing expertise on top of the tools that you provide. And so we've now sort of emerged into a, a value-add marketing agency. We leverage our own media, we leverage other people's media, and we empower the marketing growth and, and execution through the tools that are available in Run Sign Up. And this just happened this year, the Run Sign Up partnership. Our roadmap is the same, only a lot of the time that we have to spend on feature sets on the online registration side are taken care of. Which, which excites me because, you know, quite honestly, it'd be about 12 years before we got to what you guys have right now. So, um, and, and a lot of dollars. Anyway, so that's, that's where we are. But our fundamental belief is that from a marketing perspective, you, you need to measure everything that you can measure. Certainly some things are easier to measure than others. It's really hard to measure the effectiveness of print, which is why maybe you spend no dollar, you know, zero dollars on it for retail. However, anecdotally, we find that when you ignore top of mind marketing like print, and web banners that are more general awareness building, the investments you make on targeted marketing have significantly less return on investment. So I'm gonna talk through our methodology for how we work today, and I'll skip through some slides if it feels like it's, it's a little bit too detailed, but certainly open to any questions along the way if anybody's got any.